Just over 48 hours ago, this 100 foot pine tree was standing tall in Mary Trigg's front yard of her home here in York. But Tuesday's blizzards howling winds took this tree down and her roof with it. It was about 4.30 p.m. near the height of the storm. Mary recalls being without power for about 30 minutes, but still doing things around her house on Scotland Bridge Road. Yeah, so all of a sudden I heard a big thud uh, on my house. It was a miracle, I guess, that I wasn't hurt. Uh, I had a lot of branches come into the house. Um, one came into my kitchen and knocked my, one of my kitchen cabinets off. Um, you know, I had knives flying around my room, around my kitchen. I had a, a mirror, you know, hit by one of the branches in my living room, so that just kind of exploded. A neighbor called 911 and the fire department arrived. They saw that the front of the house was about to buckle, so she fled to her neighbor's house for safety. Mary tells us that she feels so fortunate that there was not a scratch on her body. Now she's looking for a permanent apartment to stay in while it's determined if her house can be repaired or not. In York, I'm meteorologist Adam Epstein, CBS 13 News.